Hello everyone, today I've come to Brussels, Belgium and checking out the St. John's School. It's an international school that they teach in two languages here, English and French. sense the, the work that goes in that is building up young people here and, and making them ready for the future. It's an American type of school. Um, they've decided to make an um, American like campus. Uh, this is a sport arena. Kids are training. Um, unfortunately, I can't film them um, as well as uh, many classes. Uh, but filming is not allowed because they have such policy. <laughs> For over 50 years, St. John's has been offering high-quality education to foreign local families in the area of the Greater Brussels. The school was established in 1964 and now admits students of junior to high school ages. It was one of the first to adopt the International Baccalaureate program and has over 40 years of experience working with IB. And in 2016, St. John's entered the Inspired Group, consisting of over 80 premium schools worldwide. Yet another courtyard. Uh, the school buildings are all around here. There is a sport uh, complex with uh, several big basketball courts like arenas and uh, it's an internal courtyard, another one here. I'd love it if it was a real grass, uh, right? But um, no, nevertheless, it's cool. This is my second time in Belgium. A few words about Belgium. Despite being only 11 million in population, it's quite developed and influential in the world community. Belgium has three official languages. Dutch, French and German. It is a multinational country, diverse ethnically, culturally and religiously, which makes it easier for foreigners moving to Belgium to feel comfortable and adapt. Brussels is Belgium's capital and not only that, it is also considered the capital of the European Union since the European Parliament holds its sessions here. The main airport is the Brussels airport, only 12 kilometers northeast from the city center. Passengers can get to the airport and back on a taxi, bus or train. The airport has its own rail terminal with a train going straight to the center of Brussels. The city is quite old, there are no skyscrapers or high-rises, but plenty of landmarks. Grand Place is the historical square and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, where you can enjoy amazing Gothic and Baroque architecture. Atomium is a cult building in the shape of an iron crystal molecule built for the 1958 World's Fair. Belgian comic strip center is housed inside an amazing Art Nouveau-style building. And yes, Belgium is home to many comics, among which the world-famous Smurfs. Visit the Royal Museums of Art and History. They have a large collection of Belgian art dated 15th century till modern day. And of course, also here is the famous statue of the Pink Boy, who people dress in different outfits depending on the upcoming holidays. Yet few people know that Pink Boy also has friends, the Pink Girl and the Pink Dog statues. So you've got, I mean, obviously Brussels just being a European capital, you've got a lot of um, diplomatic work, NATO, um, so there's some big pharmaceutical companies as well. Yeah. A good space for um, for families to come um, and then yeah, a number of other sort of smaller, smaller businesses. And, and really one of the nice things about where we are is that we are just on that edge. So if you go south of here, you're really in the countryside. And if you go north, you're in the city in 20 minutes. <laughs> the school has a diverse makeup of students with over 60 different nationalities. St. John's is also known for its strong academic program and its aim to provide a comprehensive education with emphasis on extracurricular activities and community work. Besides the main course, the school offers a lot of things outside the classrooms, including sports, music, drama and debates. Campus is equipped with modern facilities such as a library, science labs, performing arts center and a sports complex. 
high school production in the fall, big middle school production in the spring, and every other year we do an all school production, which also involves primary and often staff. So it's a huge thing that we're doing. And we thought we'd do a little bit of a, a working rehearsal with you. We were going to just do a few things, we'll stop and start, and you're going to see how we would run a rehearsal. strong sporting background as well so we've got a, a competitive circuit we've actually just just changed that there's a, a, a circuit called ISST I don't know if you've heard of that international no. school sports tournaments we've just changed this year actually to a group called NISIS which is Northern European Council of International Schools mm -hmm. um, as a circuit for competing with sport and the reason for that is that um, they offer under 12 competitions so it means that we can start off really young and, and build our students up through the sport. Belgium has some of the best universities in Europe and the world. Que Le Vent was founded in 1425 and is the oldest in Belgium. It has a great research base, an exceptional academic reputation and experience in a wide variety of areas. UC Levant is a French-speaking state-owned research university with seven campuses all over Belgium. It's especially known for its research and education in economics, political science and law. The next in the list is Ghent University, especially renowned for its experience in biotechnology, environmental research and research in photonics. And well, for those seeking an employment in Belgium later, it's important to know that uh, the capital of Belgium has offices of many companies such as um, Google, Coca-Cola, Microsoft, IBM, Procter & Gamble and many others. The school has a group of academic consulting who will help all of the students with the right choice of university and, of course, application. Every student is a unique person and everyone has to make their own decision, but the school offers you tools and advice to help each one find the right way. Well, in my high school years, I would love to have some guidance. A special consulting program for the student is developed here involving them in a complex of measures intended to help them to find links between their interests and capabilities and, of course, various career options. Want to find out more about the school or possibilities for studying in Belgium or other countries, visit our website smaps.com, where our online consultants will answer any of your questions. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're curious about education and career abroad. Here we review universities all around the world.